hey you guys welcome back to my channel so in this one we are going to talk about leveling up and you know leveling up isn't a foreign concept to the internet it is a word that has been used ad nauseum for the last three four years you know single sierra even made a great song about it but in this one i wanted to talk about the consequences of leveling up or the stuff that people don't tell you sometimes about leveling up and you know leveling up to your best life is a great thing you know whether you are trying to improve your life in the area of health and fitness whether you are trying to improve your finances you know finally go for your dream job that six-figure uh, salary paying job whether you are trying to start your own business you know selling bundles lashes uh, whether you're trying to get into content creation you know the possibilities are truly endless perhaps you want to push your acting perhaps you want to push your singing again like I said there are too many examples of leveling up to your best life for me to name in one video but one thing that I find that when people encourage people to level up as they should because you know life is a journey of growth is a journey of always bettering and improving yourself or at least that's what it should be and hopefully inspiring others in the process what people don't talk about is that oftentimes and this will never cease to amaze me is the people closest to you as a matter of fact those who sometimes are the one who you know encourage you to level up are the same people who will be the first one to take jabs at you when you do it who will be big mad when you do it and we will get into why that is right let's say for example that you you a big girl and you want to lose the weight right even oftentimes your friends and family members tell you you should lose the weight it's going to be better for your needs perhaps even your doctor your physician has told you so right what i've noticed is that when that happens the first people who are going to you know not be happy with your transformation are the very people who were encouraging you to lose the weight now why is that number one they were very comfortable in being the shiniest object in the room let's say you're a big girl and your friend you know uh is, is fit and because the world is fat phobic when you guys used to go out together you know to the bar or something she used to get most of the attention right uh guys used to speak to her they used to buy her drinks help perhaps sometimes they even bought you drinks you know because you were together with her now what will happen when you lose the weight is that this dynamic is going to shift right because now you're all our feet you know you both our feet you go out there and now before she used to get 70 80 percent of the attention and now the attention is be it's becoming 50 50 and she may not be comfortable in that position if she's somebody that suffer from the shiniest object in the room syndrome sometimes even if she's somebody now this is a harsh word is a mature word okay somebody who targeted you because you were a big girl right Stay hip to game ladies this is a real thing okay women targeting other women who they deem as less attractive than them to befriend them because they want to go out there and always be the shiniest object in the room yes i said it right so now she's not going to be happy with you anymore because now she's not getting all the attention anymore her ego around you is not being fed in the way that it used to right so she may take subtle jabs at you or you think you're cute you look different you move different now that you lost the weight no ma'am you move different now that i lost the weight now you may be thinking manera why would you encourage me to lose the weight only to be upset at me once i do this answer may upset you again but it's because she never thought you actually do it <laughs> she never thought you'd actually follow through and lose the weight this is the real reason why she was encouraging you to do it perhaps and this is not something that's uncommon with people who lose especially a big amount of weight right lots of kgs is that they try the first second third time they fail so perhaps you started many fitness journeys and you never follow through you you know you failed every single time and you know we all fail sometimes and you try it again as you should because you know we fail forward but this time the difference between why it is that she supported your last fitness journeys but won't support this one is because you are getting results so what you may see happen even is perhaps you're losing weight perhaps you have a lot of weight to lose right but you're not at your end weight yet but she's your weight loss is visible it's becoming visible to the eye to other people what you're gonna see some of them try to do is sabotage right let's say so we all go to brunch and you say oh let's go and brunch you know 
to Dean and David or somewhere where they have healthy stuff, right? We can have some smoothie, you know, some avocado toast, healthy things. And you will see that she will push for, you know, pancakes and other stuff, places that don't have the healthiest brunch again, because now your weight loss is becoming visible and she does not want you to continue and lose the weight so that you become competition to her in her mind, right? Because in reality, we are only competing with ourselves and the version of ourselves that we should, we used to be. That is of course when we are healthy and healed individuals right so remember this remember that human beings are competitive by nature that we compare to ourselves to other people by nature this come back to you know before when we were gatherers when we needed you know other people to see what they were doing in order to survive so keep that in mind you know I people will encourage you to do something and then once you're doing it they will be mad I cannot tell you the amount of people that have been encouraging me to start this channel so many of them because you know this channel is 15 months old but I've been thinking about creating this channel for the last six seven years and talking about it and so many people who are like yes girl go for it you can do it da, da, da. we believe in you a lot of them most of them never watch a single video or maybe one maybe the first one I upload it and send it to them and they didn't even watch that till the end most of them never like they, not one like okay if you don't like my content if you don't enjoy it, that's okay but a like is free most of them never done it shares most of them never shared anything but these are the same people that were telling me about how i need to stop talking about the channel and just start it zero support okay all the support i have in this channel most of it come from strangers i can tell you i do not know perhaps i know 10 subscribers 10 that's the amount of people I know, you know, and five watch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> five watch. If those people even didn't unsubscribe, my God, I don't know and I don't care. But I'm telling you this, I'm warning you, if you are someone who is about to start a business, do not expect those around you to support you. They won't. Your biggest supporters, you can go out there and watch so many podcasts about people who started successful businesses and they all say the same thing, okay? Their biggest supporters are always strangers. So be mindful of this. Do not expect friends and family members to support because most of them will not don't say i didn't tell you okay you heard it from auntie manera so <laughs> don't be out here disappointed and crying afterwards because i told you so now the third and final reason why people may you know not support your business or platform or be mad at you when you decide to change your life when you level up your life is because they can't other you you know, it is so easy, really, much easier for us to be happy for the success of people we don't know because we can do this thing that I call other them, right? I can watch Beyonce and say, oh, you know, I'm a great singer, but you know, the only reason why I didn't have a career as big as Beyonce is because I didn't have my dad behind me to push and my mom behind me to do my hair and sew my outfit with her bare hands, right? This is so easy for us to do because we don't know these people personally. We don't know their struggle personally. We don't know the trial and tribulation that they have been through in order to build their business or platform, right? This is going to be much harder for people that we know in real life let me give you an example let's say two friends grew up in the hood you know we know the hood stuff right and one made it to financial success she made it to financial freedom she started a business and you know worked tirelessly at it and she got somewhere she's financially free you know she bought herself a ginormous house a nice car she's living a lavish life she has lots of disposable income she's traveling you know jet setting etc etc yada 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 it's going to be extremely hard for the other person to be happy for them this is going to be really hard this is a skill that most people do not possess because they can't order the other person they won't be able to say, oh, you were only successful because you came from money. Oh, you were only successful because you got help. Oh, you were only successful because of X, Y, Z. Because they came from the exact same condition as you. So this is your success is going to remind them constantly of their goals and dreams and aspirations that they gave up on, that they didn't work on, that they are not working on. And this is what makes it's so hard for our friends and family members and acquaintances to be happy for us when we succeed because we remind them again 
of everything that they are not now this is a mature word this is a harsh word but it's unfortunately the truth it takes a very self-aware and healed person to be able to be happy for somebody else for something that they don't have most people don't have this capacity so don't be out here disappointed and let down i can tell you now i can tell you today a lot of your cousin won't be happy for your success hell some of your siblings yes i said it won't be happy for your success sometimes for some people the most unfortunate of us that have narcissistic mothers won't be happy for your success i know you guys i know this is harsh but this is a reality of very many people you'll be surprised at the amount of people out here that are crying every day that you know their friends don't support them that their family members don't support them that they feel entitled to their hard-earned money even though they never supported them it is what it is you guys you have to be able to shake the dust off your feet i'm warning you now if you're about to change your life in any significant way be ready for the hate because there will be hate elevation will always require separation be envy be ready for the jealousy for the envy for the gossip because it will happen okay so you best believe it's gonna happen best believe a lot of people are going to be very unhappy with you once you move out and live now in a condo by your own house uh live in a high-rise apartment and again it will be the same people that used to come to your house and tell you you know to the apartment maybe used to live in the hood in a shitty you know not the nicest place the same people that used to come there and tell you that you know you need to find a way to move out of here are the same people who are going to you know not be happy when once you move out because again they never believe you would make it i also want to touch on something that i see a lot is when you were taking your life in the direction that society in its majority doesn't find to be good or righteous enough let's say you were stripping you're a stripper right i personally do not believe that there's anything wrong with stripping what another woman does with her body is of no concern of me it doesn't affect my life in any way shape or form i'm worried about my own body that's it that's all but you were stripping and you know friends and family member were telling you you know this is not good it's not good enough you know it's not righteous enough you need to change your life and take another direction you need to go back to uni you are let's say you're a single mother just for example purposes you know you are not setting a good example for your child da, 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 yada, 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 blah, blah 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 and you you take the advice which you know in itself is not good or bad advice it's just advice right so you take the advice and you go back to the university and you graduate and you become a counselor a therapist I don't know a nurse a lawyer or doctor it don't matter you become something else is the point of this example don't be surprised if the same people who back when you were stripping were on your back every day about how you're not setting a good example for your child are the same people now who every chance they get will bring up your stripping past every man that you meet that you are dating that you introduce to them they will bring up back the days where you know do you remember back in the days when you used to strip do you remember back in the days when you used to strip do you remember back in the days when you used to strip don't be surprised you guys do not be surprised okay i promise you i guarantee you some of the same people who are asking you to change your life right now are going to be taking jabs at you once you do this is why they say if you decide to change your life okay bury the friends that have a shovel with them okay i think it's something to that matter or okay, if you decide to bury your past stay away from friends that have a shovel there's a lot of truth to that a lot of your friends right now maybe you're smoking you know weed obviously not cigarettes and you know you decide to quit smoking you give your life to christ and you're out here preaching and you know you have thousands hundreds of thousands of followers do not be surprised if your closest friend Allah, i can't believe you're giving advice you you are the one giving advice about righteousness i can't believe you're giving advice do you remember back in the days when you used to smoke do you remember back in the days when i used to hold your hair while you were puking every weekend you were drunk as shit do you remember back in the days when you used to strip i can't believe you are giving people advice i can't believe you have a youtube channel with a hundred thousand subscribers and people are listening to you about giving their life to christ i can't believe it is unbelievable every time that they meet someone that talk about you positively oh i know this woman creator she's doing her thing because of her i found my faith again they're gonna be eh, i know this person don't you know her back in the day she used to do xyz back in the day she used to be drunk every weekend oh my god i held her hair so many times while she was puking yeah you give your life to christ like you're not even coming on the internet lying about being righteous you're saying you know 
God changed me. He did something for me. And I'm here to share this, but a lot of people who knew you before are gonna be mad about this. They're not gonna accept it. I'm just telling you so you know, so you be ready. Because, you know, I think when it comes to the last one, this is the last one that I will be addressing in this video, it's in two parts. Of half of them obviously is envious and of what you've achieved but there's the other half that really is surprised because they never knew that you have the gift of inspiring inside of you they didn't know that you have the gift of motivating people inside of you right the version of you that they are familiar with is the person whose hair they held while they puked every single weekend because they overdrank so I guess here have some a little bit of grace for them because really they never knew they never knew that these gifts and talents were sleeping inside of you you know I'm just doing this video to warn you if you are at the verge of leveling up to your best life whether you're trying to lose a ridiculous amount of weight whether you know you are starting your femininity journey and you won't leave your house looking a mess anymore you only want to date you know provide a man know that your standard is going to be of offense to some people okay uh if you are going to try and start a business or a platform know that you won't receive nearly as much support as you think you do now the luckiest of you guys and i do wish that for you that is my hope and my wish for you that you guys get a tremendous amount of support but if you do not remember most people don't it is what it is you know in closing i want to say remember this thing these two things these two lessons that i learned the hard way in life number one is people will wish you the best in the world until you get it because once you get it it will remind them of everything that they lack and first of all they never believed that you were going to get it to begin with and the second thing that i want to leave you with is that most of the time unfortunately elevation is going to require separation because a lot of the people around us are only comfortable with the version of us that they know with the version of us that they are familiar with if you had no boundaries whatsoever and then you know you want to work on your mental health you want to work on healing you want to work on your childhood trauma and now you know you want to implement boundaries don't be mad if that you know surprise that a lot of people are going to be mad a lot of them are not going to want to be you know associating with them anymore a lot of them are going to end the so-called friendship and you know i say so-called because this were not really friendship these are just people who you know they had a lot of joy from being able to drain favors out of you being able to drain your energy your time your money the free rides you know and now that that has stopped because you have boundaries they will disappear they will fall flat the face of earth because they never it was never about you anyway they never liked you they never liked being friend with you you know they just liked having a free chauffeur they had this person that would drive them everywhere for free all the time they never gave you any gas money and now that you're not willing to do that anymore because it was about using you it was never about friendship so i'm just rambling you guys at this point so do not be surprised if your level up is an offense to a lot of your friends and family if it come across like that to them as an offense to them yeah if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up in the comment section down below let me know you know what you think if you have been through something like that because god knows you know i'm nowhere near where i want to be but the small changes that i've made with my life really come across as an offense or have come across as an offense to many and a lot of them have disappeared and i say good riddance okay <laughs> subscribe to my channel as well for inspiring content and i will talk to you guys on sunday 4 p.m eastern standard time bye guys <laughs>